Uh, first of all, how did you cope when you first uh, uh, faced this coronavirus locally? So we actually have, 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 been, have been planning for this for quite some time now. So as to a question of how, how uh, uh, patients are being managed, management starts actually outside hospital. So the minute that results are out, uh, a small team of, very, of highly experienced doctors then contact uh, patients at home and then they uh, have to assess them and decide whether they need hospital admission or not. As, as we all know now, the great majority of patients do not really need to come to hospital because they have relatively mild symptoms and relatively mild illnesses, illness rather. So uh, after assessment, then, then uh, the, this, this team of doctors decides whether they need admission or not. Those patients deemed unwell enough to, to, to need hospitalization are discussed with doctors uh, on the infectious disease unit. And then one would decide whether they need hospitalization at Marta Day or, or else at the step down facility uh, of St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Once uh, decided, then they are, they are transported to, to, to either uh, Marta Day or St. Thomas where treatment uh, is, is then decided on and, and, and they are started on treatment. And what about Gozo? So the first cases of, of, of Corona and Gozo were transported over to Malta. However, by now they have their own facilities over there. And the arrangement is that uh, once patients are stable, they remain uh, in Gozo. If they develop any complications, they will contact us over here in Malta. We will discuss uh, each and every case. And if necessary, then, then one can arrange transfer of such patients uh, to Malta. Uh, may I ask you about the baby, the one-month-old baby? Obviously, that's a, that's a first of its kind here in Malta. How is that being managed? I can't say that I have full details of, of, of this particular case because uh, I'm an adult infectious diseases physician. Yes. Uh, but but uh, he, should be, he should be managed in exactly the same way as adults are, man are managed. So uh, what we actually do with the adults is that we, we start them. So any, any patients who has severe symptoms, such as signs of pneumonia, i.e. the infection involving uh, both lungs, uh, or else is uh, lacking in oxygen, known as hypoxia, these patients are started on a combination of medications, which we have come up with after discussion, a lot, lots of discussion with, with, with my colleagues and obviously uh, looking at all literature available worldwide, we came up with this, with this uh, combination of medications which we're giving to such patients. I must admit that we, we are pretty satisfied with the, with the results that we're getting. Uh, out of the seven patients that had to be admitted to ITU since our first case, and all these were, were, were severely uh, ill patients, uh, five of them ha have now recovered enough to come out of ITU, obviously with the, with the, with the very good help of our colleagues in ITU, uh, and to remain, remain in ITU, but uh, are stable, and with some, some optimism, we can say that they are actually improving. So I think that's, that's very optimistic. That's Very brilliant. Positive, right? That's brilliant. And what about the exit route once the patients are cured? We have had a few patients that have been declared that they're cured now. What's the exit route um, to go back home and have a normal life? Well, normal as in we, the way we know yes. it today. Well, there are two ways how, how, how we, we can uh, certify patients as being cured. One of, one of them is the clinical route, i.e. depending on one's symptoms. So if I've got a patient who has, is now feeling well, he is completely symptom-free and without a fever and without a cough, then I can safely say that this patient is cured. However, cure from the public health, health, health uh, point of view is more rigorous in that they, so patients who, who are discharged home and by that time they are feeling well, uh, at least most of them, uh, they would have to have a repeat of their, of their uh, swab 14 days after discharge. And if that proves to be negative, I, that is, is not, is not uh, showing any signs of virus, then they will have to remain at home for another 14 days. 
So the process from the pub public health point of view to declare somebody completely cured is much more rigorous than we have as clinicians. And that is because uh, obviously they are dealing with a public health issue of, 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 of importance, of, of high importance. Mm -hmm. So a patient was discharged from the public health point of view would, would only be declared free after a month. So that's why the discrepancy that one might one might uh, is, is coming across when we say, look, most of our patients have done well and have been discharged home, but we can't say that they have been cured completely because we're awaiting the public health doctors to declare them as such. Absolutely. Based on their rigorous regimen. Absolutely. May I just ask about the families of the ones that are sent back home? So, uh, yes, that's, that's, that's an important question because once before we send somebody home, we have to ensure that they can actually self-isolate until they get their swab 14 days after discharge. And that means that we have to ensure that they can either, either uh, are all alone at home and obviously with support from, from outside uh, and, and, and they have to, if they can't self-isolate, then, then obviously we have to find other, other uh, ways how to support these patients, either uh, finding them another accommodation, uh, especially in, in either at St. Thomas or as, as, at another facility. Uh, that, is, that is very important. Dr. Mali Yatsopardi, I thank you very much for joining us today Welcome. and um, sharing that uh, superb information. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was Dr. Charles uh, Mali Yatsopardi. Um, he's a consultant physician and his speciality is infectious diseases. And um, with that, we're drawing to the close of um, our briefing today. I'll um, see you on Friday at seven o'clock. Tomorrow, there's a special mass by the Archbishop during this time. Um, I wish you all a very good evening. Keep safe and keep well. <laughs>